Hello everyone, this is Nintendo Bro here with part 2 of Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And in our last video we encountered Murkay Island, which as you can see is a very 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 pretty large island and we encountered Ciela, one of our uh, our companion and her grandpa Oshis. And in this video we are going to continue our search for Lineback from the last video. And if we talk to this sailor here, he should be able to... Yes, he tells us where Lineback is. So we have to go talk to the owner at the milk bar to find out where Lineback is. Yes. I'm also going to cut back on the voice acting since I think there was a bit of extra unnecessary voice acting from the last video. So uh, if you don't see any, um, but if you prefer the voice acting, let me know in the comments. Or if you just want to uh, enjoy the commentary with the gameplay. But uh, yeah. So we're going to talk to the milk bar owner here. Yes, new customer. So it appears Lineback is at the Temple of the Ocean King and we have to go and save him. So let us see where he is. So before I do that though, I am also going to... how many rupees do I have? Let me check. I'm just going to check how many rupees. I have 109 rupees so I have enough to acquire a shield so before I do anything I'm actually going to go get that shield from the shop. Item shop right over here. Here they sell a lot of items like bombs, um, potions, which you can use to heal yourself. But the real item we're looking for is this. Now you may have noticed that there's also this item here, which is a power gem. And we'll, know, we'll learn more about what these are later on throughout our adventures. But for now, I wouldn't worry too much. These are just like... Um, collectible items that you can use to unlock stuff later on so anyway so we're heading to find lineback so let us head to the temple of the ocean king some grass here it's on our way here kill this choo choo get ourselves a blue rupee and Perfect. We're accumulating some rupees. Yes. And let's kill this bird. Yes. Perfect. So let us head this way. And here we are. We're at the Temple of the Ocean King. So the Ocean King is like a mighty a person that is respected by the people of Murkay Island. Many people know who he is, but we'll find out more about who he is later on throughout um, the story. But uh, yes, he is just a well-respected person who um, fell into ruin. So people believe that he's he's a myth of a story that was built around this place. But um, yeah, that's who he is. And yes, so let's find line. Yeah, let's find line back. Okay, so let's go inside here. Here we are in the Temple of the Ocean King. Pretty large place. There's a couple of uh, staffle skeletons in here. From uh, if you guys have not played Ocarina of Time or any of the other Zelda games, these are staffle skeletons of a famous Zelda enemy. So, all right. Yep. Let us head inside. So yes, yeah, she's creeped out by these skeletons. They do look a little bit creepy and uh, uneasy when you walk in and you see a bunch of dead skeletons on the ground. So. Nothing are in these pots. Okay, let's proceed forward.
All right, sure, we'll help you line back. Yes, he wants us to rescue him from the spikes because he cannot get free, break free from here. So we gotta lower the spikes so that he can escape and be free. Yep, let's go save line back. Oh, and yes, this is what he's gonna tell us about the temple. So the temple is cursed. So uh, if you look on the map, you can see there are a bunch of purple spaces, but if you stay on those, um, you won't, um, the temple won't suck the life out of you. So basically what happens is if you're in the temple that's not any of the non-purple spaces, um, you take damage as you're moving through the temple and it accumulates and eventually you can die. So the goal is to move from each safe zone or a purple spot, uh, purple dotted spots to the next in order to uh, proceed. And this is what he's explaining to us right here. Yep, we got all that. We are looking to save Tetra, our friend, who was kidnapped by the ghost ship. Yes, Lineback knows about the ghost ship. No, we don't want the treasure, Lineback. Yeah, we're trying to save our friend. She was abducted by the ghost ship and we have to come and uh, rescue her. Lineback's like, what? <laughs> Just teasing, kid. Yep. Okay. Find more info, and yes. small ourselves a small key let us go find the hidden clue on the ghost ship and yep so now we're gonna search for the missing clue on the ghost ship let's come through here open up this locked door here Also, a very much uh, apologies for any lag that's happening in this video. I deeply apologize. I am running this at around 30 FPS, but um, just apologies if it's running a bit slow at times throughout the video. Uh, let's come to here. Yes. Unlock these spikes and open up the door. Grab ourselves some hearts. And we don't want to head this way because there's actually a hidden trap there. And I'll just show you guys. So like if you enter here, you would have encountered a, a trap door. So we gotta go through here and we gotta go through there. And use this. And we got ourselves a, found ourselves a C chart. Nice. Yes, so this is the our first C chart we got. To finding the ghost ship. So we need to show this to line back now. Hey! 
Let us make ourselves our way out of the temple and show this to line back. Oh, and he's gone. Interesting. Yes, he takes off. Uh. Yes, let us make ourselves our way outside. Um. Yes, and outside here we will find line back. Yes, line back. We have found ourselves an adventuring map. Let's look into it. Oh, he just takes off with the map, of course. Yes, so let's go meet line back at his ship. So, yeah. Yes. Kill a couple of these red choo choos here. of these guys make our way down here and here you may have noticed the treasure teller shop this is a little shop called the treasure teller and what you can do here is later on as you collect different treasures from the game you can sell these for rupees which you can then use to buy um, certain items and stuff a couple of the shops in this game are not opened up yet because we're at the way we're still at the be uh, beginning of the game but as we proceed forward, we'll unlock all these different houses and be able to travel to them. A few of them are already open, like the shop we went to to get the shield earlier. But um, shops like the shipyard we haven't unlocked because we don't have a ship yet. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to see if we can get that. So here we have Oceus. Yep, the bridge has been fixed. So now we can take that that uh, path that we that we uh, created on the map. As you can see, there's a line pointing through a bridge. We can now take that as a shortcut instead of going all the way around like we did in the first video through that cave that we went through. Now we can just proceed forward right away. Yes, yep, courageous. Yeah, lineback's a little bit... Um, I want to say he's a little bit ungrateful at times. Like, we saved his life, and he does tend to um, brag about it a lot. Um... Yes, and he, yeah, see right here, he brags that he's a hero, but in truth, we did all the saving. We saved your life, back. <laughs> yeah, you weren't injured. You ran out of the temple. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is the map, and yes, he hasn't found anything, but we are going to inspect this map, because I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is a secret on this map that we have not missed. Let's check it out. So if you flake around the map, you'll find eventually come to the conclusion that there is actually a secret symbol on the map that you can carve with your stylus. And if you rub, rub it, keep rubbing it, you'll find the symbol on this island over here at the south, uh, the south end of the map. Yes, and this is called the Isle of Ember. So this is where we have to go next and meet up with a fortune teller named Astrid. So, basically, we need to go to the Isle of Ember, talk to Astrid, and she's going to give us more intel on where to find the ghost ship. Because we don't know right now where it is, the location of it. Lineback may know where it is, um, know about the ghost ship, but he doesn't know like where the actual location of it is. He's just searching for it as we are as well. So, yes. We just got to sail there, find Astrid. Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. Yes, and Osha's take tells us to take Ciela with us, who is going to be our fairy companion for our journey. So... Yep, happy to have you, Ciela. Lineback's a bit ungrateful on Ciela. He doesn't really want Ciela on the journey, so yeah. And we are not going to set sail yet, because that is what we're actually going to do in our next video. So, again, apologies for the lag, and thank you all so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.